found out that you could audition by sending a picture of yourself and some information to Newsround. I did my own video with me, first of all, pretending to be my drama teacher, who unfortunately was a girl, so... And then I, then I did a rap, how I wanted to be Ron, and then I read a bit of... Then I made my own script thing up and sent it off. It did the trick. Several screen tests later, he heard the magic words, you've got the part. After that, the real work began, but it was fun too. Walking into the Great Hall for the first time was absolutely incredible. All these effects with all the candles floating in the air, all lit and everything, all food on the table, all the flambeaux were lit. It was just incredible. It was the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. Another amazing experience was filming a scene with huge chess figures close to the end of the movie. I think the chess scene was pretty difficult because there was loads of dust everywhere and the pieces were really big. I got to sit on my horse, that was really fun. It was like sort of Ron's turn in the limelight, because really like he was all the way through the film, Harry's been the one who's been doing all the all the brave stuff and Ron felt a bit bad. But he felt happy for Harry because he's best friend. But I think Ron was really happy because that's his thing, Chess, really. There are some, though, who aren't too keen on a movie that they believe may spoil the imagination of the books forever. I am a really big Harry Potter fan, and I've, I've seen most of... I've seen all the sets, I've lived Harry Potter, and I think that... It, it, I don't think it's to destroy the books at all. I think it, it's really spot on, I think. It's been an incredible year for Rupert, magically plucked from obscurity to become a film star. It's going to be really weird to know that people are going to actually know my name. That's going to be strange. You're looking forward to being famous? Definitely. She needs to sort out her priorities. <laughs>